The goal of transformation is to cause bacteria, in this case E. coli, to pick up DNA plasmids from their environment. The bacteria are negatively charged because of the structure of their lipid bilayer cell membrane. And the plasmids are negatively charged as well because of their DNA's phosphate backbone. Since they are both negatively charged, they tend to repel one another. To facilitate this interaction, calcium chloride is mixed in with the bacterial cells. Once in solution, the positively charged calcium ions bind to the negatively charged phosphate groups on the cell surface and neutralize their charge. Plasmids containing the gene of interest, RFP, are then mixed with the treated cells at 4 degrees Celsius. The temperature is quickly increased to 42 degrees Celsius and then reduced back to 4 degrees Celsius. This heat shock results in the formation of adhesion zones, creating a leaky plasma membrane. This may enable the cell to take up a plasmid from the solution. After heat shock, the bacterial cells are placed at 37 degrees Celsius and allowed to recover before being plated. Bacterial samples are now put on agar plates to test for successful transformations. The plate on the left contains the antibiotic ampicillin alone, and the plate on the right contains ampicillin and the sugar arabinose. On the left is a negative control plate, P-, where the transformation reaction was done without any plasmid. In the middle is another negative control, where transformation was carried out with plasmids but where the gene of interest will not be expressed since the growth medium lacks the arabinose inducer. On the right is the permissive growth condition with arabinose that will let us identify successful transformations. After a 24-hour incubation period, any cell that was transformed with plasmid survives and divides to form a colony in the presence of the antibiotic ampicillin. However, only cells that were transformed with plasmid and grown in the presence of ampicillin and arabinose will result in red colonies. We expect these red colonies to have synthesized the mutant fluorescent protein, MFP.